Welcome to another systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Today we have a system that looks completely normal from the front, but it's available in two tiers. It's called the green box, even though it doesn't look very green, and then, boom, it shows its true colors, just like that. Green. So let's get through the three main points of this system. Number one is the exclusive and unique GeForce GTX edition of the Phenom M from BitPhoenix. This was a collaborative effort between NVIDIA and BitPhoenix, and NCIX PC's division collaborated then with MSI's gaming hardware division to bring this compact, well-balanced machine and put it inside it, and it's exclusive to NCIX PC in Canada. What better way, if you're proud of your GeForce GTX graphics, to put that on display than to Put that on display for your system. So number one is the look. Number two is the hardware inside. So it uses the latest Intel Core i5 and overclocked GTX graphics processors. It's powered by the brand new Haswell Refresh CPUs and packed with the latest generation performance parts. The graphics card itself is factory overclocked, so you're going to get a smooth gaming experience on either tier of the green box GTX. It just depends on what kind of a resolution and what kind of details that you want to play at. Finally, we've got MSI Gaming's contribution to the whole thing. So you've got Killer Networking and their Audio Boost too. So basically, these are technologies that are built into the motherboard where they're able to prioritize your gaming packets over the other network data that's coming in and out of your system, as well as deliver a better overall onboard audio design than what we found traditionally on motherboards that don't feature you know, EMI shielding, headphone amps, uh, high-quality caps, and all of that sort of stuff. As usual, we're going to start with the exterior tour. So at the front, well, as I showed you right in the intro of the video, it actually doesn't really look like anything out of the ordinary at all. You got that front bezel, you got a little handle here to pop it off, as well as an intake in the bottom, you got a Big Phoenix logo. That's it. Remember, guys, the Phenom M does not have five and a quarter inch bays, so you're going to want an external optical drive if you do want to add one of those to it. On the right-hand side, we find, ah, yes, ventilation for that front fan. You got to actually have some vents so that you can intake air as well as that stamped NVIDIA logo and all of your front I.O. So you got your power and reset switches, headphone and microphone jacks, as well as two USB 3 ports. Then you've got that accent green mesh strip that goes all across the top and then down the front. On the other side, we get, well, basically the same thing. We've got that stamped GeForce logo, we've got the green mesh, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX little badge with a black and silver accent and all that good stuff. On the top, we find where most of the cooling is done. So there are two 120 millimeter fan mounts up here that are populated by BitPhoenix Spectre 120 mil green LED fans, and you can go ahead and clean those out just like that. Pop that back in there, close it up, and then you are good to keep on gaming. At the back, we find five PCI expansion slots. This is important because with a suitable motherboard inside, the Phenom M can actually support two dual slot graphics cards with an additional card in between or a slot in between for additional cooling. And then we've also got the I.O. on the motherboard. So we've got one PS2 keyboard mouse combo ports. We've got two USB 2.0 ports, six USB 3 ports, HDMI, display port out, SPDIF audio out, as well as 7.1 audio out, and finally, that killer gigabit LAN that I was talking about before to go along with eSATA to round out all of the storage options that are included with this board. Also back here, we've got another 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter mount, and that's got a 120 millimeter fan in it. Finally, we've got the GeForce GTX graphics card that supports up to three displays in NVIDIA surround with like 3D and all that crazy stuff, and a fourth auxiliary display that is kind of for non-gaming use while you've got your main rig going. Inside the system, we find all the guts and the glory. We've got the tier two one that costs $13.99. So in there, you get a 4690K processor that is an overclockable processor. So it's going to be have to have a Z97M gaming motherboard to go with it. So you go ahead and overclock that bad boy. It's also going to need a pretty good cooler. So you've got a Corsair H60 liquid cooler on it. It's paired up with a GeForce GTX 770 Gaming Edition graphics card, and it's got a one terabyte SSHD. Remember, SSHDs 
will give you some of the benefits of an SSD with the storage of a hard drive. So it's a very good middle ground. For the power supply, we've got a 550 watt G series 80 plus gold power supply from Seasonic. And all of this is running on Windows 7 Ohm Premium with eight gigs of Kingston HyperX Fury RAM in there. So what do you get if you wanna save 400 bucks and go for the tier one system? Well, first you get a Core i5-4460. So it's a slightly lower clocked chip and it doesn't feature overclocking. So it doesn't need an overclocking ready board. So you can pair that up with an MSI H87MG43 motherboard. You also downgrade your graphics card to a GTX 660 gaming edition. And that SSHD becomes a regular old 7200 RPM hard drive. The last thing that changes is you get a 520 watt E plus bronze power supply. So efficiency won't be quite as high and you also won't have as much expansion for the future. There are also differences in the freebies that come with the systems. So tier one gets Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed 4, while tier two gets Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed 4 and Total War Rome 2. So as always guys, the freebies are subject to change. So you definitely are gonna to wanna to check the link in the video description to find out what the latest offer is. NCIX PCs almost always come with some kind of free cool swag and all that. Thank you guys for watching this systems edition of NCIX Tech Tips. Like it if you liked it, leave a comment, let us know what you thought. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.